guys so pausing the music let's get going okay so so much so much has happened since I last recorded an actual video so um first of all uh let's go over the paparazzi motivational Monday shall we be there for others but never leave yourself behind <laughs> all righty then okay I'll be there for others but I have yet to leave myself behind. And there was another funny thing um, that I saw on the paparazzi, uh, you know, because I've been, I've been watching people go live and I've been doing stuff. So let's go to uh, Hope here, uh, Papa Bling with Hope. So I'm going to type in Papa Bling with Hope because I've been watching uh, Hope go live and what is with the stupid filters lately hope can you can you explain that to me and did you realize when you were using a filter the other day when you turned your face you looked like a witch from like i mean seriously i'm not gonna listen to her voice because it drives me up a freaking wall but what's what's what 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 i mean she's gonna turn in a second and she's going to have the witchy nose. But I'm just looking at all the debt on the wall behind her. And there it is. There it goes. <laughs> it's just like, d does she know that turning her nose like that makes her look like the witch that a lot of people think she is? I guess so. She's so, just being silly She's just being silly, but she's also the person who had that racist meme and is also kind of a racist person from stories and accounts I've received from her downline. Okay. Uh, so that's just, you know, you know, hope is as hope does. All right. So I figured we'd go over what I've missed over the last few days. So I haven't seen the new releases. I don't know what's dropped. So... Uh, let's see. Star Spangled and Sassy, the stupid blue thing, stupid red thing, star things, ooh ah. The stupid cue the sparkler spreads are still available, ooh ah. So there's all that in the Americana category. So let's go see what's in the last chance category. Um, this came out the other day in silver. And then we have a seed bead thing in muted tones. Uh, Timu special right here. And then uh, another Timu special right there. Another Timu special. Another Timu special. Um, I've seen that on several people. Uh, Timu special. All right. Last chance to get that crap. So let's look and see what else we have. We have getting the hang of things in silver. We have striking sheen. Ooh, ah. Hammered, something or other, in gold, because, you know, it sold, sold so well in gunmetal. So cute. So fun. And then we've got blue ombre-ish. Uh, Life of the Party bring back. That's not new. For anyone who wants to know, it's not new. In fact, I'm just going to type that in. So, when it came out with paparazzi, uh, as you can see, Celestial Royal, it's not new. It's been tone on tone. It's been red and silver. It's been silver on silver. But as you can clearly see, people, you can get this paparazzi monstrosity, and it's been done over and over and over again. Then we've got the neck mess. We've got another tassel mess. Oh, look, now we have Moonstone in peachy orange and in pink. Ooh, ah. 
Then we have the stupid botanical breeze. And then what the hell is going on here? It's so dreamy. It's a dreamy destination of pearls and foggy encapsulated teardrop fauceted finagly things. And then we've got teardrop timbre. Timbre. Okay, so we've got hammered teardrop discs with um, those silver encapsulated teardrops made to look like raindrops, which have been on necklaces in the past, but here it is again in silver. Yay. Oh, and look, it's the Misty Kirby necklace now available in copper. And then the three three chain neck mess is there, and then we've got a guy's necklace. Ooh ah! Uh, and then look, more more cheap fringe called Q the chandelier. Yeah, because everyone wants to wear a chandelier around their neck. Okay. And then we have a statement piece called Geometric Grit. Ooh, get me some of that. And then we've got another neck mess called Layered Lass in orange. And then we have textured trail blazer. Uh, if you want something similar, you can get that on Timu right now. Just type in Bohemian Jewelry Necklace. You'll find it there. And then we've got another thing. And then, uh, oh look, it's Purple Moonbeam Magic. It came out in blue. It did so well in blue. So now we're going to bring it out in purple. Okay. And we have uh, crossed and forged, crossed and found. Alrighty then. And then we've got a blue ring, some pink rhinestone rings, big statement rings, ugly statement rings, things where rhinestones will fall off. And then we have this sunburst of a ring called starburst season. I'm amazed that wasn't in the 4th of July category. What's wrong with you, Papa Rossi? Get it in the 4th of July category. And then, oh look, we have all the tarnished pieces and copper and brass because it sells so well. And then the earrings to go with the neck mess. Uh, Timu special right there. Tone on tone. Ooh ah. More tone on tone in red, white, and fabulous. Uh, look, the wood beads with the the chandelier movement. Ooh. Ooh, ah. Oh. So I'm going to move my camera up. And then we've got, that should go with the geometric grit right there. Mm, yeah. Okay. And then we have a little paisley piece. And it's, uh, it's a stretch. It's totally a stretch. And we have a hinge called labyrinth something or other. Yeah. And then we've got more brassy copper sonoran stripes because you know it's so fabulous and wonderful so um you guys have been commenting like mad so i wanted to respond to those comments in this video because you guys have pointed out so much that i honestly did not catch so I need to give credit where credit is due. All right, so here we go. So I'm gonna put the channel comments and mentions up so you guys can see. So Ashley Waldrop said, so she's one of the coaches helping to teach coaches how to coach and wants to be paid for her program of $349. She won't tell you anything today, but once you pay her, she will unlock all the secrets and the secret is to pay Facebook. Are you freaking kidding me? So she wants all these people who are already in debt buying crappy jewelry to pay Facebook to boost their business page. Oh my gosh! Yes, Ashley, that is what she wants you to do. So I'm going to make this bigger so you guys can see the comments. Because when I read that, I was like, yes, you are 100% correct there. All right, so let's see what Wolfcat has to say. Mm. Wolf Cat says, sorry about the microphone being moved. When I was a consultant, I had my jewelry bagged in drawers and in closets because I have pets. Allowing your pets to play in jewelry that someone who is allergic to pets may purchase is a no bueno. 
I agree. And when I saw uh, the farm fabulous woman who calls her customers heifers say, oh, my, my cat's just over there playing in the jewelry, um, I would have immediately, if I heard that, I would have immediately canceled anything that I had ordered because I am deathly allergic to cats. And uh, I would not have completed my purchase. One, because it's not a pet-free home for cats. And I feel that that is something that should be disclosed when you are selling something to somebody. If it's a home with a cat, I'm sorry, I can't, I can't support your business because it, it will literally give me hives. So there's that. <laughs> Wolf Cat also says, be consistent. This is called a brilliant new marketing strategy. Yes, that is what they named that live. Brilliant marking, marketing strategies. Be consistent. That's brilliant. I would have logged off. If you say you're going to start on a certain time, then start. And then if the person you're talking to is constantly going like this. Yeah, I wouldn't want to watch. It, it was giving me, it was giving me, <laughs> it was giving me dizzy spells. Um... Debbie says she did advanced blingo numbers too. They had lots of fun, but I spaced out calling the numbers and I attached them to a product. See, and I when I did my blingo lives, Debbie, I was I was prepared for those suckers because I wanted that live to go fast. I didn't want to waste all night. So I had 50 numbers and I showed 50 pieces. And after that, if uh, someone called blingo and they won, I would continue to call numbers because if that person did not pay for their Blingo prize and they didn't buy anything, um, it would go to the next person. So that's what I did. At the beginning, the third lady on the right, all I can think was, please adjust your camera. No one wants to look up your nose. <laughs> I did all the giveaway games. Some only came for the giveaways. Yes, I call those looky loos and freebie, freebie hoarders. So, Savvy said with Sunday Mornings Live, I received a $300 commission check one time, and later I found out it was because one of the ladies that signed up under me was buying kits for people to join under her. I was following my upline by doing contests for people to recruit. I am so ashamed to even say that now I've learned how wrong that was, but I just mirrored what she was doing. What I did was get you so many pieces free for her, free for every sign up. I had so much I was trying to move some out. She thought that I would help build her downline. Instead, she ended up quitting because she also got stuck with a ton of stuff she couldn't sell. I would wish I'd never heard of paparazzi. It's one of my biggest regrets. Now, um, the person who left this comment, I know exactly who her upline was, who was doing these contests. She has been featured on this channel a multitude of times. So, um, when I say that, uh, you know, you do these contests, peace matches, you'll send free things to people, I know for a fact that you're sending them shit you can't sell. Just saying. At 21.15, no, it shows someone buying. It has nothing do with, to do with selling jewelry. Everything is based off of what is bought, not sold. It's just a pyramid scheme. I wish I realized this in the beginning. So that comment is based off of the book, Building Your Paparazzi Business, 2012, okay, where they talk about how um, your commission is based off of the success of the people in your downline. Uh, no, that is a lie. It's a straightforward lie in the book. It's, if they're successful, quote unquote, successful, it's because they're buying more jewelry. And when they buy more jewelry, that jewelry they buy turns into commissions for you as an upline. So if you have a downline and they're successful and they're buying more jewelry, that means you're getting bigger commission checks. But it's not based off of what they sell. It is 100% based off of what they buy. Okay? Not what they sell, what they buy. All right. 
Uh, I just sold the rest of my inventory. I just had them pay the shipping. I am so over looking at it. I wanted it gone. Every time I looked at it, I got depressed and I thought about all the money I had wasted. Good job, Savvy. I'm proud of you for doing that. Uh, Debbie said, my team never held parties, even with me coaching it. My director check averaged around $50. I have always hated home parties. I do better with vendor booths. And congratulations on your vendor booth this weekend. I'm proud of your success. You shared it with me. Uh, Helen says, I'm watching the replay, and the lady on the end that blinks a lot, does she have to go to the bathroom? I'm going to need a motion pill if I keep watching her. <laughs> yes, I wanted Amy to hold still, too. She, she would not stop fidgeting around, and um, it, was, it was annoying. That Zoom meeting, no offense, was annoying. And then they were going to bring on a new guest, and I kept watching. The new guest never showed up. So, how is the host going to make the lady in the middle stay and get scolded after she made her exit speech? These people are so, so cruel. So, um, I don't know what hour this is on, but yeah, um... It kind of annoyed me when she said she called, you know, she was talking about the, the butterfly bracelet. And I'll pull that up because I'm pretty sure it's still available on paparazzi right now. So we'll go to bracelets. And if the silver butterfly ba bracelet is still available in the back office, it might be. Maybe it finally sold out, but it was the bracelet that had the 3D butterfly wings flying, you know, flying off of it. It was available in the back office for well over a week, well over a week, and it came uh, in copper in the Life of the Party box, um, and it came in like new penny copper in that box. And she took pre-orders for it. And a bunch of people said, if you get the silver, I want it. And so she bought a whole bunch, but then nobody claimed it. So she called her, her customers heifers. She's like, okay, heifers, I need a moo on this. And if, if you have farm fabulous fashions and you run a farm, then I guess that, that works. But um, if someone called me a heifer, I'd be like, <laughs> screw you. So, yeah, that kind of made me mad. Mystery, hostess mystery packs. I'm sure they were disappointed when they got them. Uh, totally pushing your trainings. Yes. Um, this was something that I thought was also interesting. She said, she said something very manipulative during this whole building brilliant strategies and stuff. She's like, she was using a manipulation tactic. Um... And here it is. Deb Hernandez caught it. I didn't. So good job, Deb. It is a marketing strategy. She has you comment a specific word and sends it to you in Messenger. Then she has you click on it and she hits you with a price. Only stupid people fall for that. Then she says, post on this on your timeline here. And I hated that. I see it all the time when I'm on Facebook and it's freaking annoying. This woman makes good money with her bullshit trainings. And why is the lipstick lady so lo close to her camera? <laughs> um, it's hard to hit rank nowadays because so many people sell it and you only make $5 look so good. That was Zen Wing. And I'm like, I made three fifty look good. <laughs> and then Wolfcat says, paparazzi pits its consultants against each other's and team members get uh, put up against each other. It's extremely toxic. And then Candace says, I hope paparazzi reads my comments. I drink their nasty Kool-Aid and I'm broke. And I have rooms full of jewelry that nobody wants to buy. My highest director check was $75. That does not pay an electric bill. Paparazzi also took my confidence and faith in myself. I'm in therapy now. Paparazzi, you broke me financially and my spirit, but I will rise above your crap. Yes, you will, Candace. You totally will. And then she writes, hey, paparazzi, I also have a ticket to convention this year. Can I have a refund? I could use the $245 to pay my bills. So, um, you know, I've, I have encouraged Candace, like the rest of you who watch my channel, 
if you have recently left your MLM, and it doesn't have to be paparazzi, it can be any MLM out there. If you have recently left your multi-level marketing company, you have a story to tell. You need to report your story to the FTC. Because if you were if you were convinced to join the company under the guise that you can make a full-time income with part-time work, that's an income claim and it's a violation of federal law. Okay? Secondly, if you were encouraged to join for the discount or if you were encouraged to inventory load, these are things the FTC needs to know. They need to know who told you to inventory load. Was it your upline or was it Misty Kirby? If it was your upline, did your upline get the directive from Misty Kirby? Okay, so this book that uh, Barb sent me, uh, I've been reading through it, you know, the tips for growing your business, be creative, be opening, and blah, 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 repeat. Um, it even talks about inventory loading in this book, okay? But when you go to paparazzi policy and procedures and you click on them, there's also an additional version of this document. When we go to section 5.19, let me get to section 5.19. Inventory loading. Okay, so let me move me over here. And I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so you can see it. Okay, so let me go back over here and make me a little bit smaller. Consultants must never purchase more products than they can reasonably sell or use to retail customers in a month and therefore must not influence other consultants to purchase more product than they can reasonably sell within a month. Not only excess product, uh, not only will excess product not be returnable, it may be seen as bonus buying and violates section 5.20. So what is bonus buying? Well, it's month end. It is month end right now. Uh, the end of the month is in what, four days? So pretty soon we're gonna start seeing those posts by Mandy Hench. So and so on my team needs to get active. Go into uh, her replicated website and buy X number of pieces from her to help her be active. That's bonus buying. That's encouraging bonus buying, okay? Bonus buying is strictly and absolutely prohibited. Bonus buying involves any method of directly or indirectly Maintaining or increasing a consultant's rank, volume, or commission level by purchasing products for which a consultant does not have a bona fide need for personal use or bona fide reason for intent to resell within the next 30 days from the date of the order, or placing orders personally with the intention of hitting or maintaining a rank, volume, or commission level. This also includes using multiple positions within the organization to achieve the goal of buying the bonus or achievement. If it is determined by the compliance department, which we all know is bullshit, I'm sorry, but the compliance department doesn't do anything to people like Mandy Hench. I need to reach Crown Club 250. I need to reach my Crown Club 100. I need to reach this. Help, go into, my, go into this person's replicated website and buy, 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 buy. That is bonus buying. But compliance doesn't care. Because if they cared, they'd do something about it. But they only do things to people that are, uh, in their eyes, not making them enough money. So, um, you know, compliance department, you know, if it's determined by your bullshit compliance department that a consultant is bonus buying, that consultant may be subject to suspension, termination, loss of commissions, loss of rank, or temporary or permanent suspe suspension of the return policy. Product determined to be used for purchase in an abusive manner, aka bonus buying, will not be allowed to be returned. Okay, 
here's the deal, paparazzi. You have all these policies and procedures. You have all these compliance things. People report things to compliance all the time, yet nothing seems to happen to the people that are consistent and repeat offenders of your stupid policy and procedures. But the people who make a comment or accidentally leave an angry emoticon on a comment on accident because they fat fingered that, you you block them from your social media, you suspend and or cancel them. Yeah, that makes real complete sense. You, you, you think that people who are watching my YouTube channel uh, are the same people that you cancel and or suspend? Um, do you know how many people out there have the name Pamela Hernandez? Do you know paparazzi? So I'm just going to type it in. Pam, A-T-R-N. So I'm just going to do P. So we've got Patrice, Catherine, Priscilla Hernandez, and Stephanie Hernandez. So did you cancel all the Pamela Hernandez's? So let's see how many Pamela's there are out there. So let's search. Yeah, you've got pages of Pams here. Pages and pages of Pamela's. But people don't use their real name on YouTube. Okay? Not everybody does. So there's Pamela Grace, Pamela Greer, Pamela Green, Pamela McConnell, Pamela Pass. There's a lot of Pamela's out there, paparazzi. Not all of them watch my YouTube channel, okay? And not all of them comment. But apparently your compliance department uh, assumed, and we all know what it means to assume. If you make an assumption, you're just making an ass out of yourself. So paparazzi's compliance department assumed that somebody who commented on one of my videos was an active consultant with paparazzi. Uh, they weren't. But paparazzi assumed that, took a screenshot of it, sent it to the person they suspended and or canceled, and the person's like, I found you because uh, paparazzi compliance canceled me for supposedly commenting on one of your videos, so I wanted to know what you were about, so now I'm glad they canceled me. I have no intention of going back. Thank you for opening my eyes. So paparazzi, why don't you go hit up everybody in my comments se section and continue to assume that the people that are commenting on my videos are all active consultants. Go shoot yourself in the foot, paparazzi, and cancel all of them. Just like you did with Becky Scott Bling. Just like you did with Pamela Hernandez, who is no longer a paparazzi consultant because you canceled her and she has no intention of coming back. Or uh, what was the other person? There was Grace. Uh, there was uh, there was a Monica. So there's quite a few people out there that you've canceled because hmm, you thought that they were disparaging your company by watching my videos. No, actually, what you did was Streisand effect that they found me through your cancellation, and now they're glad they had. So, again, keep shooting yourself in the foot, paparazzi. I dare you. So, I want to give a shout out to the members of my channel. And the newest member is Evelyn. And Evelyn, I have not added you to the list yet. I will add you to the list tonight. But, uh, thank you, Maria, Bling Auntie, Evelyn, Eva, Susan, Nonya, Monique, Lilybug, Denise Lopez, Pamela Hernandez, KD, Debbie Patrick, Savvy B. Smart, Sherry Kirk, Amanda Hug and Kiss, Blingin' with Kimberly, Heather O'Connell, Tracy Potter, Flying Monkey One, and Amy St. Louis. You guys continue to support me financially even though I don't require it. Being a subscriber, liking the video, leaving a comment, watching it in incognito mode all the way to the end, all those things help this channel grow. And thank you so much for being here and have a great day. Bye.